Hello everyone, so today I'm doing my finished 17 in 2017 update. I just start this project in March, so this is technically my two month update. So the first item that I don't have as exciting progress as I would like is the Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. There is no pan whatsoever in anything, but I mean, when is it, um, there's not much to expect when you have been working on a palette for two months that was hardly been used before. So I do have little dips going, like I have the tiniest dip up here in Virgin, there's a dip in Sin, there's a bigger dip in Naked, I'm starting to form a dip in Buck, there's one in Half Baked, a little bit in Smog, and everything else is still pretty flat and raised. Um, I feel like the reason you're probably not going to see as much progress in my Naked palette as other people is because I don't mind when other people do it, but when I'm putting on makeup, it kind of bothers me if I just work in one specific spot and just work my way down because I know I'm basically just tricking myself into digging a hole, but the rest of the product is still... A lot of product into the top. I just like to wear them down evenly. That's just my personal preference. But I know if you, which can be a little discouraging if you're trying to pan it, which I know other people's methods, which is just focus on a spot, you'll see progress faster. And who knows, maybe that works for them. But I just feel like for me, I just, I like to see evenness in my pan. And I also haven't been needing to use that much product from the Naked palette because. The other item that's in this project is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creamy Beige. This is a dark brown base and in my first update I had product everywhere with just a little bit of pan in the center but I feel like with cream products um, you think you get pan but it's just you moving the product. So what I ended up doing is moving all the product down after and as you can see I definitely do have a lot of progress. I only have um, a little less than half left. You don't need that much eyeshadow unless you want to go for a, a very smoky look. And at first, when I was just using this in the Naked palette, I actually hated the way my eyeshadow looked. I thought it was way too dark um, in combination with this. So, what I've been doing to make this wearable is I've brought in this Anastasia Banana Powder. This is from the Contour Kit. I decluttered it a long time ago. For some reason, I decided to keep the one color in that palette that did not work for me at all because this was when banana powder was like all on the rage. Everyone was talking about banana powder, but your girl is way too pale to use banana powder. I actually set the Maybelline color tattoo with the powder and it definitely neutralizes a lot of the brown and makes it wearable for the Urban Decay Native Good palette and it's just it makes it better for me because it doesn't crease as easily. This has prevented creasing, it neutralizes the brown, and it makes me enjoy actually using the Naked palette with this. And because it is brown and then more browns in the Naked palette, to bring a little bit of more life into my eyeshadow, I've brought in this MAC eyeshadow. This was a limited edition eyeshadow um, from the MAC uh, Liberty of London collection. And the eyeshadow name is Gimme Liberty of London. But it's just this pink matte eyeshadow. It's very sheer, so it's just enough to bring a little bit of light into your eyeshadow and it just brings warmth. And it's not just this pure brown eyeshadow look every single day. So these two items are not part of the project, but it's definitely something that I can see myself using up because I'm using them in conjunction with products in this project. And there's like enough of this product to make it last the entire use of the items in this project, if that makes sense. I have my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I haven't really used it that much. I marked it after my intro video and I'm about to hear, but of course when you cut it, you'll find that there's more product up here because I have cut one before. Um, this color is a little too dark for me. Um, when I have time in the morning, I'll actually try to mix it in with lighter foundations or with a foundation mixer, but I haven't used it that many times to make a progress from this line. But definitely in my next update, which will be in two months, this will probably be um, almost gone, if not gone, just because in two months 
you know, will be in mid towards the end of the July and I hope I would have gotten a tan by then. So that's the case with this one. Also the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. This is also too dark for me. But what I did do is I took a chunk out of there as you can see. And I actually put it in this little pot. And if you recognize this from my hashtag 365 days of samples, you a true homie. Not saying everyone else isn't. But I'm just like, if you watch my 365... We, we super close, that's what I'm saying. So I took the chunk out and I put it in here and I actually put like foundation mixer in there just to use it, but I did find I can only really use this when I am using my darkest foundations that I can still use right now for my shade because if I use a lighter foundation, you could still see the darkness of it. So that didn't really work out that well. So it's probably a product that I'm only gonna be able to use in the summer, which is fine with me. The other item is the Cover FS, FX Custom Cover Drops and I have tried to use this you guys and I just don't like it. No matter wow wow no matter how I use this it just ends up looking cakey at the end of the day. It looks separated. If you have figured out a way to use it please let me know. Um, I don't know if I'm just using too much or it's just because the product that kept it moist has dried out So it's just pure pigment. I'm not sure what to do with this um, Suggestions will be taken um, I'm probably this is like way way too light for me So it's probably a product. I'll have to revisit in the winter time if I'm up for it, but I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up just calling it quits on this one which kind of kills me because this was really expensive but I just I don't like it and I haven't found a way to use it and yeah that's it so amazing cosmetics concealer I marked it it's up to here I don't use um I know it's like a crooked line but we're just gonna go with it um, I don't use concealer every day. I feel like this is going to be a product that takes me till the end of the year to use up, which is fine because it's a super full coverage concealer, but I just don't use concealer every day. But when I do need to use it, it's the one I grab, and I just have a couple of spots. So again, this is probably going to take me the entire year to use up. The one product I have finished in this entire project, which if you watch my Finish 6 by Summer project pan, you'll know what it is. And this is the Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Setting Powder. And um, you can go watch that video if you want to see like my whole thoughts about this powder. But it's not something I'm going to go out and seek just to keep it short and sweet. But I'm glad that it's done because I've definitely had this for like a lot, a lot, a lot of years. So moving on to the rest of the face stuff, we have my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. There's exciting progress in this one. I had hit a tiny bit of pan in my intro video in the center and now I've expanded it to that much. So this product is going strong. Um, it will probably be, be a product that takes me till the end of the year to use as well just because I'm not only just focusing on the center, I'm trying to swirl my entire brush around the entire product because um, I found that with these sorts of products, um, it would break easier if I just focus it on the center and everything else was like as if it was brand new. Um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquids. I have Moonstone and I have Opal. Opal's too dark for me. This would be a summer one, so I haven't used that at all. And then if you've also watched my Finish 6 by Summer, you'll know that this is giving me like... It's just causing these dermatitis patches that I got from a different product to keep reappearing. So I'm only going to use this on my body once like it's summertime. Although it kind of feels like summertime, but I know it's going to go down to 60 degrees on the weekend even though it's like 78 today. It's strange. Very strange. So once like I'm actually like wearing like more chesty things, I'm going to be using it up that way. But this is no longer going on my face. For blushes, we have my Cargo Bali blush. I have used it a couple of times, not enough to make progress. There is a little bit of like pinpricks in the product, but not enough to make progress just because I've been focusing on the cream blushes. Now, all up until Easter, I was focusing on the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush in Birthday Suit, and I actually hit pan on this one, which is pretty exciting. So once I hit pan, I actually stopped using this, 
because this is a color I'm going to want to use in the fall and in the winter once it comes, but I was just trying to use it up or like, you know, hit pan in it before I switched to the next one, which is the, also a ColourPop blush and this one's in Trickery. Um, this one's a lot more patchier than the other one and it's obviously more pigmented. So it's pigmented and super patchy, so it's a little bit harder to work with, but regardless, I'm still working on it. So I've only, it hasn't even been a full month of me using this, so there's no pan on this yet, but this is the progress I have so far, and we'll see where I'm at in two months with this. I mean, it's a little, it's a little pain to, a little bit of a pain to work with, but I mean, I'm not complaining. And, um... Okay, let's move on to lip products. So for my Bite Lipstick in Bouquet, I haven't used this at all. I plan on using it once I'm done with my other lipstick. So I actually marked it. Um, when Since I'm not, I haven't used this, I'm just gonna show you that on the paper, that's how much product I have on this one. So we'll get to using that. I feel like starting June, I'm gonna be able to use this just because that's when I feel is the projected end of a product and that product is the MAC lipstick and mellow mood I have been using this and this is how much I have left guys this is exciting I don't think I've ever gotten down like this much of a lipstick so I have a paper for you guys so we're up to that line right there the tip is I usually measure these with like the white plasticky part but I want you to see the lines so it's basically right um, they're at that line and then the top line was where I, I first started two months ago in this project So I'm not like that much of like a lipstick reapplier I might apply it two to three times a day So for doing that and also some days I just don't wear lipstick I feel like I have done significant progress on this one and I'm so proud of myself And I know I can probably get this done by the end of the month So that is very exciting and then my other lip product is the Kat Von D lipstick in underage red. Um, obviously it's a red lipstick. I'm not going to wear red lipstick every day. So that's how much product I have left in that one. There is some progress on this. Some some pretty good progress I do say, if I do say so myself. So um, there we are. That's where the, I mean, just a little bit of progress, but... I mean, it's a red lipstick, so what you can, what can you expect? Um, again, this is probably gonna be a product that it takes me the entire year to use up, but I mean, that's okay. The way I have enjoyed using this, just because it's not my favorite shade of red to wear like a full red lip, is I will put a layer on and then I would take a paper towel and blot it all off and leave it as a stain and then I'll put another layer on and blot it off off to make an even better stain and it leaves such a pretty stain and I know if I use it like that I'm definitely gonna use it up than just like oh red lipstick for the day oh I just need to like fix it just a little bit but not like take the entire thing off and hey if that's how I'm gonna use it that's how I'm gonna use it I enjoy it that way I have other red lipsticks that I enjoy wearing as a full red lip not just as a stain so yeah if that's how I'm gonna use it up and I like it that way then so be it. Okay, so then we also have my Marc Jacobs Roller Balls. This is Daisy. I started up here and now I'm up to here. This is the one that I've been focusing on. Um, the Daisy is my favorite. So I've been focusing on this because I have a big size of it. And then, oh, this is a Daisy. Oh, so fresh. Sorry, and then the regular Daisy, I was using it at first, but then I decided to focus on the other one. So I only have a little bit of products. Oh, I guess that was like, that was easier. So I only have that much, but um, again, once I'm done with the Oh So Fresh, that one should be no problem. And then our last thing, because this video is getting ridiculously long, is my sample box. That was pretty loud. I do have my hashtag 365 days of samples to use up my samples um yeah so this has been going really well i've been using a lot of samples i am not having that many samples come in so it's good i will probably have no samples by the end of the year i mean i probably will but you know these samples won't be here at the end of the year so that's all for my update i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on my next one